A lot of my patients ask me why I use cadaver bone graft for my ACDF surgeries. Right over here is one of my patients who had a three level anterior cervical discectomy infusion. And you can see that the disc spaces used to be right over here. But as time has gone on, all of these bones have fused together very nicely. So it's just one large piece of bone. So this is a successful stable fusion. On the other hand, this patient had three metal cages. Now, when you look at these cages, you can't really tell if these levels have fused or not because the metal will obscure the view and you can't really tell if the bone has healed. So you would have to get a CAT scan, which is a special type of an X-ray. Also, this is a very interesting case where you can easily see the difference. So this patient underwent two spine surgeries. In the first surgery, the disc in the middle was removed and a cadaver bone graft was placed and this healed beautifully. But as time went on, the disc above and the disc below began to degenerate. So the surgeon placed a cage made of peak. Now, when you look at the middle level, you can see that the bone has healed very nicely, but you can't really tell if the level above or the level below has healed or not, because you can still see the outline of this peak cage. But I know that this is healed because this surgery was done a very long time ago and the hardware is stable. So in a nutshell, the reason I use cadaver bone graft instead of cage for my ACDF surgery is it has a very high success rate and you can very easily see if the bone has healed or not. So usually you don't need to get a CAT scan to confirm the success of the surgery. Thank you for watching. If you have any questions, please share in the comments below. See you next time.